asshole. My name is Stone Progress, goddammit. But this is our 13th out of 30 nights of Creepy Pasta. And tonight's story is going to be The Boy with the Golden Shoelaces. So, yeah. Everybody knew about the boy with the golden shoelaces. His real name was Noah Young, but no one paid any attention to him. He would spend every recess sitting under the massive tree in the middle of the playground, reading to himself, because no one would ever dare go near him. About 15 years ago, we were all in elementary school, and it was already starting to feel like high school. Only certain kids hung out with each other, and if someone wanted to join them, he would be scolded and insulted unless he were man enough to come up with his own insults. Sometimes, he would even disappear into the middle of recess, and they would have to go looking for him. They were, they always found him in the same place outside of the class, in the dark woods, all by himself. Nobody knew why he would do this, and I finally decided to risk my reputation and start talking to Noah. I asked him all about why he would leave and where he would go. He said some pretty weird things. He told me that his parents didn't love him. His father would drink and beat him with no mercy and scream over and over again. You're not my son. His mom was no help either. Because all she did was stay in the bathroom all day and come out with cuts on, on her arms. The way he described her behavior back then seemed like a mystery to me. But look at it now that I am older. I'm almost positive she was on meth told me there was only one thing that loved him in the world, and that was the tree in the deepest part of the forest. He told me he would go there, and the tree would comfort him and tell him not to worry, that everything would be okay. The tree gave him fruit when he was hungry, and provided a blanket of leaves when he was cold. He told me that not even the kids in his in his class cared for him. So what he would always do is go there, go to the tree. I thought he was crazy. Looking back on it now, I remember telling all the kids in class of his stories. Everyone made fun of him, and I felt terrible. One day, a kid tripped him in class. Well, in the middle of class. And with tears in his eyes, Noah ran away. After that, I never saw him again. The police were searching for Noah for, for months and eventually closed the case. He was gone, and none of us knew why. I looked up in my old hometown about a week, about a week ago and discovered some shocking things. The first of which being that my town had the highest missing children count in the entire country. This came as a shock. As I, only, as I had only remembered it happening twice in my entire life. But the other thing that I discovered sent shivers down my spine. I still have nightmares about it. A boy found an odd tree in the forest. He contacted the police and to their surprise, they discovered a tree with hundreds of shoelaces hanging from the branches. And at the very end of the tallest branch were the golden shoelaces of Noah Young 